Winter, hi. Hi. Um, we um, worked really hard. These guys worked so hard on this play, Theseus and the Minotaur. It's a classic Greek myth. Um, but like all myths, um, there's different ways to tell them. And so we chose a really silly way to tell it. And um, even back in ancient Greece, they used to tell them in silly ways too. But the stories have lasted for hundreds of years now. And um, if you like our play, maybe ask your teacher to read you, if you're a little one, the original play or story. And if you're an older one, go to the library. I know there's many versions there, okay? But this is our version. Everything that you see up on the stage, they created. They worked together to work on it. And except for the stuff that's up high that they couldn't reach, I helped them with that. <laughs> Everything else, props, costumes, things like that, we all worked together. So they did really great. And um, in ancient times, plays were very different. They were all played by men. All the women roles and everything were only men. But here at St. Stephen's, I only have three boys <laughs> and ten girls. So um, it's more of a necessity that we have the girls playing boys' roles. Um, and they are all doing a great job. And I hope you enjoy it. And so now, without any further ado, I'm going to disappear over there. And you will enjoy Theseus and the Minotaur. Thank you. 
<laughs> Didn't you once tell how the Greeks captured Troy by hiding themselves inside the giant's wooden easel?
that even King Minos comes today. Minos? I can't believe I forgot. He's been a bit down. Minos will be here any minute. Where? What can we do? I tried calling in Hercules, but he's booked until November. <laughs> what can we do? Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. What if you and I go and listen to citizens and try to go to Minotaur? Are you nuts? I mean, half bull, half man. It sounds dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of the Big Bunny. Maybe a damsel in distress. You have to ease into this hero thing. This could be my big chance. No, son. It's too risky. I need you at home.
This is very fond you, good friend. Things are about to get even worse for our hero. Halfway across the sea to Crete, Minos boasts that he is related to Zeus. And you know how things are. Before you know it, Theseus is insisting that Poseidon is his grandfather. Really? I thought you said you'd read the story. No, my dog ate it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a disgrace to our profession. You don't know that Minos challenges Theseus to a test. What kind of test? Why, well, heroic test, of course. I will throw my ring into the sea, and then I'll throw Theseus into the sea. <laughs> if the god of the sea is truly your grandfather, he will rescue you and give you the ring. Why then you'll drown. That's an excellent evil laugh, Your Majesty. Thanks, I've been practicing. Now go fetch me that ring, hero boy. Theseus, what are you doing here? You never write, you never call. Every year I said you pickle Harry, and do I even get a thank you note? <laughs>
monster. You'd never retrace your steps. Yeah, freaks check in, but they don't check out. I'll come in a minute trying to meet you guys when you build it around. We had a few close calls. Fortunately, I discovered he's got a real sweet tooth. In fact, he's crazy for about any kind of junk food. So, whenever he got that hungry look, I just throw him a candy bar. Now we're done with the mentor and the evil King Minos, we run escape and remain to my dad's name. And you must come with us. You can't defeat the Minotaur, and you'll only die trying.